How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. We're back on another video. We're starting to get in parts little by little. We got our little switch box, USB port here. We got a, we got a USB and we have the other outlet, the round outlet. Two USB ports in there. And then this is the big round one where we'll be put, plugging the shower into. Uh, we got our bottom this is our low profile uh, drain for our shower we got it we got the wire this is for the to put the cables down through the roof um, for our solar panels uh, we got our little shower here we're hoping it's okay the box was open so hopefully it's all right and let's see we got our new TV uh, bracket here uh, for the TV mount. We got the new TV mount. Now this is a locking bracket for the, um, it's for RVs. So, it, and it's very, very heavy, uh, not very light, very heavy uh, bracket. So I think it was about $47 for that bracket, but it looks like a good one. So. We're just going to be doing little things here and there. I was messing around right now just trying to get this box. I'd like to have that box mounted in there uh, right above that cabinet right there because all of our wiring is inside of there. So uh, I'd like to do the box right in here. So I was just going to take a carpenter knife and cut this out because it's going to have to go right up into that lip air a little bit. And then uh, we'll get it set back in there. I don't know if I'm going to be doing too much wiring. I really, really wanted to get on the little cabinet that goes up here on this side of the door. And I really would like to get this. There's going to be another cabinet right on the side of the shower here. I'd like to get that one done. I'm trying to get the woodworking done uh, as much as I can. But... Uh, Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and cut that door right there. We're going to cut that trim and go ahead and put that thing back in there. That way it's out of the way. And then we'll take it back out and wire it when we're ready. switch panel now we'll just pull the screws back out and pull it off of there but it's out of the way I don't have to worry about losing any of the parts and it's in place where it needs to be so this uh, is I think this is going to be really nice we'll have at least ways five good switches here we can use for different different things in the camper um, we're gonna have an outlet out here somewhere I'm not sure exactly where the outlets gonna go but there will be a 110 outlet uh, somewhere here uh, so now when I go to wire this up, all I got to do is pull it out and wire up the wires and then put it back in. It's not a big deal. So that's one thing out of the way. I know I got to do some wiring yet. I still got to get the entrance wire put outside on this thing. I have everything to do it. I uh, just haven't been feeling like doing the wiring and usually I do know if I don't feel like doing wiring, I don't do it because it's not good to do it if you don't feel like doing it. So. One day I'll come out here and feel like doing it and I'll do all the wiring and get it all over with. So that's our little switch box and I think it really looks nice in there. Let's take a look at it from back here. That's your little switch box. It'll be able to, uh, tell, that thing's going to tell us our voltage 
It's got a voltage uh, meter right here. And then, like I said, a couple USB ports in here. And then your switches. And then your 12 volt outlet here for like the shower. So, pretty cool little setup. I like it. I'm going to be working on this cabinet. I'm going to try to get some of this woodwork done. And I cut a piece here. We're going to have a 20 inch. It's 20 inches out there, 20 inches out here. It doesn't leave us a lot of room inside there, but it is storage. So we're gonna go with something like this and we'll put a nice little door on it. You'll be able to open it up, put stuff in there. Uh, I do realize I'm not gonna have a lot of storage. We got our clothes storage underneath the bed. We're fine with it. The only thing we gotta worry about now is like toilet paper, a little bit of food and uh, maybe some towels and that I mean you probably even could put towels in here if you wanted so uh, but we're gonna work on this right now and see if we can get this guy put up and get us a little nice little shelf in here or a little cabinet this is a small cabinet with a couple shelves so we'll have at least two shelves in here so I hope this works out all right you can see we got three outside boards on there so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go ahead and mark out where our shelves are going to go and put us some boards back in there, back in here on the bottom, and then we're going to work on the front. But we're going to have to cut some uprights in here so we can put our door on, like up through here. So it's coming along. It'll be a nice little, nice little cabinet. Okay, we got the uh, two shelves in there in the front. What we're gonna do now, we went ahead and put these down and put our braces up underneath. As you can see, we did them both the same. And then uh, Joey's gonna go ahead and caulk everything in there. That way it's done. We don't have to worry about anything inside, being able to get to it. Now, if you notice my top, this board here is down a little bit, but this box trailer goes up in the middle to run the water off, so, we're gonna have a little space up there, but I think we could work with that. All right, we got the uprights in there now. We got these boards all in here, and that's just where our little door is gonna go. We're gonna have one big door, two shelves. We ha I don't have any more of the lawn, so we gotta go to Lowe's, pick up some lawn, and put the front on here, and actually build another door, just like we did the cabinets down on the bottom here, make them look just the same. All right. Last night we went and got some uh, more Luan, and I just covered this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole in the center here and just take the jigsaw and follow my board. Go right around and cut these two squares out where we want our door. So I just start anywhere in the middle. got a hole like once you got a hole like this then you can look in the side and you can go up right up the side and catch your board that's the corner of my board right now what I'll do is come down Cut across, go back up, and we have our two holes cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll get you guys back in. Now here. that we got our holes cut out, just take some sandpaper and take that rough edge off of it. Try to straighten them up as best you can. You don't want anything that's gonna snag anything. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I built the doors down there in a little more detail. Um, now, I'm not a carpenter and you guys know it. I've told you before, I'm not a carpenter. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the width of my door. I was gonna leave it hang over at least a half inch on this side, a half inch on that side. So I come up with nine 
and let's say nine and three quarters. So what I do is I go in there and I'm gonna cut two boards nine and three quarters. Now these boards need to be exactly the same size, whether they be whatever size they are, they have to be exact. Otherwise your cabinet door is gonna be crooked. So just stand them up on end on something hard and make sure they're straight across. And these ones are good. All right, now we'll go show you what else we do here. Now, what I'm gonna do with these boards is I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. We'll get our tape measure here. What I did was I stuck them on the door and laid a half inch piece of wood or just a piece of that this one by right on the bottom that gives them just a little space on the bottom then I take my ruler and I measure up a half inch higher than what the door is doesn't have to be exact we want it as close as we can so we're talking 20 and 3 quarter so now I don't have to measure the other side because we want this door to be straight so I need two pieces 20 and 3 quarters so I'll go cut two pieces of the same stuff, 20 and 3 quarter. Perfect. Now while you guys are watching this, I mind you, I'm not a carpenter. I'm just doing it the best that I can. So we know on the inside of this, I got to take a router and cut a groove around here for our Luan to set down in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure over. I know that groove, I think it's, let me make sure. That's a three eighths groove. So we're going to be three-eighths on that. So I know if I come in two inches on this and make a tiny little mark that I can sand off. And then I come two inches on this side, make a tiny little mark I can sand off. And we'll do the same thing with this here. We'll make little marks that we can sand off. Just at two inches. Because that's going to be well enough to get our new one in there. Okay, just very lightly make you some little marks then I'll start my router right here and go across stop and then come back out at that one there that way I won't go all the way through this side we don't want to take a chunk out of there Alright, so this is what the inside of it looks like, and we have just a nice little groove going around there to put our uh, Lou Wand down in there. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Craig jig out. We're going to get the Craig jig out. This is where I used it, to, where I told you before I got to use it, which was pretty cool. And I set my back piece on the three quarter mark. Because we're using three quarter inch wood here. It's it's one buys, but it's three quarter. Then all I have to do, get rid of these guys, set my jig up on the side of each one of these. Now I've seen somebody else using one of these clamps. I'm not gonna use the one I made for the counter because I'm only gonna do these four. And I put that on there like that and then set up the drill and drill them out. Now don't forget to set this down, or set this uh, spacer here in your box to three quarter inch too. And then just take your drill and drill them out. You might want to charge it up drill too. So 
all I'm going to do is go ahead and finish all four sides just like this and I'll have two screws to put in each side. Now when I go to put these together I just put a tiny bit of liquid nail on this. We don't want too much because we don't want much of it squeezing out. Then I just lay them on something flat make sure it's nice and flat and square and screw them together. This Craig jig works really well for this. Now you don't want to over tighten them. Just get them snugged up. We do the same thing with the other side. We just keep going. Now that we got it all glued and screwed together, it's the best time to wipe that glue off right now. Go ahead and get your glue, whatever squeezed out of the cracks, get it off. Looks like we did pretty good on the front. Looks good. Now at this point, what I will do, I will take my palm sander and sand this down a little bit. Just to clean up the edges, just in case they're not exactly perfect, we'll use the palm sander and clean them up. Alright, after you get it all sanded, flip it over and measure out your hole, and then cut you a nice piece of lawn that'll fit right down inside there. That's what it looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the lube on and I'm going to run the sander over it just a little bit, clean it up, clean it up with some sandpaper because we're not going to be able to sand inside there if we decide we want to sand anything. Not too much to that. Brush it off good. Make sure there's no dust on there. Alright, everything's been sanded pretty decent. And now what we want to do is put a little bead of this liquid nail in here. You don't want a whole lot because whatever comes off, you got to make sure you wipe it out. You don't want it coming through. And just take your piece of wood, stick it right down in there. Then we're going to get the nail gun. We're going to nail this guy together. Now when I put these nails in, I've been kind of putting them in at an angle a little bit. Because if you don't watch, they'll come through the front. Okay, that should hold it on there pretty good. And any glue that's on the inside right now, I want to make sure I clean it off while it's still wet. Now I'm just using an old flat razor blade, box blade. And I'm just taking it and going right down that edge. And it peels all that glue right out of there, no problem at all. Just get it right on the end of your finger. Now these are going to be painted so they don't have to be, you know, perfect. You're going to paint them up so it'll be alright. 
just want to clean whatever you can clean out of there. And this door looks pretty daggone good if you ask me. So now all I got to do is mount my hinges on this guy and the handle. Okay, now we're going to get ready and go ahead and put our hinges on. Uh, don't forget, uh, when you're doing your hinges, look at your screws because some of these have a round top on them. And the ones that have the little round top will go in these holes. The ones that are flat, they're perfectly flat, will go in these holes. So you got to kind of separate them. Make sure you got them separated. So you got three for that one and three for this one. And then just flip your hinges over. I made a mark of four and three quarters of an inch up. This is kind of hard for me because I got big old fingers, but anyhow, just get them in there the best you can. Put them in the center of that hole. And don't over tighten them now. You don't want to strip them. Just put them in. You can always tighten them later with a Phillips screwdriver. See now those flat ones will lay that let that lay flat on your cabinet. Do the same thing with your other hinge. Make sure it's marked at your wherever your mark is. Line it up. Woo. Don't lose your hinge. A little tough like I said for me because my fingers are so big here okay now we'll have our hinges installed and then all we got to do is put a handle on it and then we'll take it in there and mount it up Okay, just as I thought, they look better on the bottom, so we're going to go ahead and put the handle on the bottom. And I just eyeballed this up. We don't want to over tighten them now. <clears throat> okay, we got us a cabinet door done. The only thing I have to do now is bolt it to the, screw it to the wall. And then uh, get our little uh, stopper on there, our little magnet. All right, this is going to be a little bit tough. What I'm going to do is I wanted that door to about a quarter of an inch or a little better to cover there. And I want to split the difference from the top and the bottom here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm to get one of these screws put in. If I can do this. One person, it makes it a little bit hard, but just do your best. Okay, we got one screw in there, so that one screw is going to hold it into place. And then we're going to line it up a little bit better. Make sure the door is square on there. And when you open it, it's covering up that. And that looks pretty good right there. So we're going to go ahead and put another screw in. And this screw will hold it until we get the other ones in. Like I said, don't over tighten any of these screws. You can always come back with a Phillips screwdriver and snug them up if you like. Because the drill seems like it'll put a little bit too much pressure on it. And see how your door opens? Pretty nice. Now these are self-closing hinges too, so they help keep the door closed. And we got two nice little compartments in here, two real nice little compartments. Now I didn't trim them out in here. I don't think they're going to need trimmed out. All we got to do now is get our magnet on here. And uh, you know, it don't see ever seem like anything is actually really square in here, but it is a trailer. So anyhow, I think that's going to look pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and get our little magnet or a little sticky thing in here. 
I'll just put it back in behind here. All right, everyone, that's how about how I did the doors. Now, I'm not a carpenter, so, but that's the best I can do. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, give me thumbs up, thumbs down, a comment if you want. And don't forget, if you want them alerts, click the little bell down there and underneath right here. Click the little bell, and you'll get them alerts when I put up a new video. Hey, till next time.